Before I start today's video, I did just want to give you a disclaimer that pinky mice, chicks, things like that are a rare treat. Sometimes we will say you can give wax worms as a treat now and again, or Mario worms as a treat now and again. This is different. This is certainly a rare treat, something that's more seasonal, something that a leopard gecko would most likely encounter in the wild, a small rodent, a small chick, another lizard, and eat. Will they eat it that often? No, but if the opportunity arises, they will. It is often recommended that these are given to elderly geckos, so Gizmo Mini fit in that. Gizmo is 17, Mini will be 16 this month, and she has laid eggs this year, so <laughs> she's in need of a boost. Some people whose geckos are in recovery, vets have recommended pinkies, and also geckos who have been bred with. They are high in protein, and hence why you don't want to give them too often. Also, they digested it really well. Like, their poop's just normal. Just, <laughs> just to let you know, the aftermath of it has been absolutely fine. So that was good to know. Anyway, let's crack on with the video. So I figured we'd start with the males because they're likely to eat very quickly. Um, I haven't even looked at these yet, so I'm about to unbag one of them. Oh my goodness, that's like a whole mouse. I'm so sorry, this poor mouse. Oh, this is why I don't own snakes. Okay, I'm gonna pop it in. I'm, I'm curious whether the smell will draw them in. I hope I don't have to move it. Okay, oh goodness me. Um, oh, Maui. Maui, what's this? I'm just pretending to move it down here. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, it keeps rolling in dirt. Okay. He's thinking about it. I think he's looking for movement, but the smell might be enough. Here we go. Oh, yeah, he's got some scent going on. Oh, dear me. Oh, goodness me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, goodness. Well, oh, my word. Oh, that poor little mouse. Okay. Oh, some juice just came out of it. Oh, okay. Well, that was gone quicker than I expected. Um, as I said, I didn't think Maui or Diego would really take too much time with that. But, um, yeah. Look at Diego. He knows something's going on. I honestly don't think this is going to last long with Diego at all. I'm so sorry, I said I wasn't going to make this too obvious. Oh, Diego's rejected it. Absolutely not. He's a vegan. Goodbye. It's <laughs> not happening. Okay, I'm going to leave it here. Okay. Oh dear me. Next up we have Minnie and I mean if I just do my finger like this, she's yeah, she's coming for it. So, as I said, she has laid eggs already she'll be 16 this month um, and she's looking to gain weight so frankly any food any movement is fine by her so I don't think this is gonna last long with her but we've just you know Diego has just surprised me there so let me grab a mouse okay once again anyone sensitive to this I'm so sorry and to the snake keepers stop laughing at me I know you are okay so Oh, oh, she's got it. Okay, please, please swallow it quickly. Sorry, I don't know why. Okay, sorry. It's... Oh, dear me. You can tell this isn't going to be a common thing for me. Not something I've always wanted to do, but... Um, it's for the geckos. It's for the geckos. There you go. Mm, that was actually really quick and one thing that has surprised me is actually how small pinkies are compared to leopard geckos I always thought they'd be way too big but actually that's gone down really quickly um, yeah there are a few benefits to pinkies obviously but as I said just a treat just a one-off I mean they're not gonna be eating something like this all the time in the wild but I'm really curious what happens to the bones 
We're gonna have some interesting poops. I mean, I imagine they dissolve, don't they? Like, being that small. I don't know, you have to let me know in the comments below. Now for the birthday girl, looks like she's gonna shed soon. Um, she's gonna try her own pinky. Diego still hasn't touched his. So we'll have to check on him in a moment, but let's see what Gizmo thinks. Oh, oh, let's clean those eyes. Let's see what we're looking at here. This don't smell like a cricket. What's going on? The only problem is that I found is they're quite moist. So dirt gets stuck to them a little bit. Um, she's just licking the dirt. It's right in front of you, Gizmo. Giz? Why are you looking the cork? That's it, turn that way. Yes. Here we go. Do you think she's finally noticed it now? There's a lot of tongue flicking. She's kind of got a stink eye on though. Sometimes when you give her food that she's not too keen on, one of her eyes will squint. I think she's very confused by this. I've decided to leave it there. Um, Oh my goodness, Diego, he's just eaten it. We completely miss that. Oh my goodness. So the one gecko that I've actually bought these for, really, Gizmo, hasn't eaten hers. Diego, just secret attack, just go and eat it. So editing me here, basically Gizmo got spooked when my boyfriend came in the room and she just kind of stayed at the back of her hide. So we left her for about 45 minutes to an hour and then returned and Tong fed her the pinky, which actually she took straight away. So that was great to see. I have the camera in my vivarium and that sometimes interferes with the microphone hence why i'm doing a voiceover but one thing that really surprised me about the pinkies is one just how small they are um, and two how easy they went down so if you've ever seen your gecko eat a morrow worm or a super worm and you see them do that weird like neck thing as they sort of like have to force that food down none of that happened with any of the geckos it's been about a week at this point since i originally offered the pinky mice um minnie and gizmo actually both shed the next night after feeding and they had perfect sheds they're going to the toilet like normal there has been no problem after feeding them pinkies because actually I'm editing this now and yesterday I posted about that the fact that I did this and there was a bit of backlash and it made me realize that there's a lot of misinformation out there a lot of fear mongering and people seeing the word pinky and leopard gecko and instantly thinking it's a bad combination if i was offering this to my geckos on a regular basis or even like once a week yes that would be an issue once in a lifetime i don't think it's too much an issue if your gecko has liver problems i wouldn't recommend it um some people had pointed out fatty liver disease in reality, if you are feeding dubia roaches that have been gut loaded with cat or dog food and you're feeding that on a regular basis, you are more likely to be causing fatty liver disease to your leopard gecko than one pinky once in their entire life. So um, I think there just needs to be a little more awareness around this topic. And if you know me, you know I've never wanted a snake or anything because I don't want to have to deal with rodents. And... So for me to do this is based on doing a lot of research and realizing it's the best for my gecko. So I was putting my geckos first for this because this is not something I take joy in. But if you're just casually feeding them mice, don't do it. Don't don't just be doing it all the time. Don't be doing it to like babies and juveniles. This was a one-off for me and I wanted to share it with you guys and hopefully most of you understand. Maybe we have to do a video of a deep dive on the wild diet of leopard geckos. But um, yeah, it's been a bit of a roller coaster for a few days. <laughs> anyway, if you haven't already and this hasn't put you off, please subscribe. But thank you for watching and goodbye.